During peak travel periods, waiting time in front of the Gotthard can reach over five hours. We're going to look at alternative routes to bypass the Gotthard tunnel traffic in Switzerland or switch when one of these passes is closed. From options such as mountain passes, both within and outside Switzerland, car trains, and much more. We'll compare them based on travel times, traffic conditions, and costs. Driving via the Great St. Bernard Pass to Genoa Harbour will take approximately one hour longer. It is the origin of the famous St. Bernard rescue dog. The route from Martigny, Switzerland to Aosta, Italy, typically experiences minimal traffic congestion. However, the route via Bern can be congested at times. The Great St. Bernard Tunnel remains open year-round and is situated at an altitude of 1,915 metres. All vehicles using the tunnel are subject to toll charges, regardless of whether they already display a Swiss motorway vignette. Passenger cars are currently charged a fare of 31 euro for a one-way ticket. For the full and up-to-date tariff details, check out the link in the description. The Brenner Pass, with an altitude of 1,374 metres, provides an easy route for first-time drivers through the Alps. However, it may take longer than waiting in the longest traffic jam at the Gotthard Tunnel when heading to Genoa. If you're bound for Verona and the wait time exceeds 4.5 hours, consider switching to the Brenner Autobahn. Keep in mind that the Brenner Autobahn can also get congested, so check the traffic situation before making the switch. Remember, there's a toll, even if you already have an Austrian motorway vignette. Passenger cars pay €16.50 for a one-way ticket to Verona. For precise and up-to-date toll charges based on your travel destination and vehicle, follow the link in the description. Mont Blanc Tunnel at an altitude of 1,381 meters, is open all year round. It will take around 1.5 hours longer. Toll charges apply. Check details for your vehicle with the link in the description. For passenger cars, the current fee is 55 euro. During the holiday season, heavy traffic can be expected. Make sure to check before you decide. If you're bound for Verona, the journey takes an extra hour while heading to Genoa adds over 1.5 hours. The San Bernardino Tunnel, situated at an altitude of 2,066 metres, remains open all year long. However, during peak traffic at the Gotthard Tunnel, delays of up to 90 minutes may occur on this route. There are no toll charges, just the obligatory vignette for Switzerland's highways. Despite the 40 hairpin turns on the Ticino side, it's a comfortable and scenic drive. Occasionally, heavy rain triggers landslides, which can in very rare cases impact the road for a few days. But fear not, during the main holiday season, the road usually stays clear. During the summer, you can travel directly from Kandersteg in Switzerland to Isel in Italy in just 75 minutes. These direct trains operate between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m with six trains available during those hours. Outside of this time frame, you can take a train from Kandersteg to Goppenstein and then from Brig to Isel all year round. You can monitor waiting times online using the provided link in the description. Pre-booking your trip is recommended. The cost for a passenger car on the direct train is currently 98 Swiss franc. Keep in mind that you'll pass by Bern, so there may be congestion. During the summer, consider taking the Gotthard Pass as an alternative route. This picturesque pass reaches an impressive 2,106 meters. While it may add just 20 extra minutes to your journey, be sure to check for peak holiday traffic in advance. Even during the open months, sudden weather changes can impact traffic and safety on the pass. The pass features serpentine twists and hairpin turns, which can slow traffic, especially for larger vehicles or less experienced mountain drivers. But fear not. Remember the saying, if people from the Netherlands can drive this pass, so can you. Should the options we've mentioned not quite fit your journey, there's yet another pass connecting France and Italy through the Fregius Road Tunnel. And if you're still seeking more routes, the Touring Switzerland TCS website offers a treasure trove of possibilities.
See the links in the description. We wish you a safe travel.